Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. When ISRO's powerful rocket GSLV lifts off from Sri Harikota at 2.35 p.m. this Friday, it will carry aboard India's long-held space dream to achieve a successful moon landing. But is it just that? India's mission comes at a time when countries across the world, the US, Russia, China, Japan and the UAE are racing to the moon again. The three space powers to have successfully landed on the moon, the US, China and the Soviet Union are eyeing a permanent lunar base over the next decade. It will also double up as a space gateway for astronauts to explore Mars, the next big destination. And then there's a hunt for critical lunar resources and the big lunar economy. China's last moon mission even returned to Earth in 24 days with rock samples which are now being studied. So what is this show's plan? Now see, what sets Chandrayaan-3 apart from the previous missions is that this mission will target a relatively unexplored site near the south pole of the moon a perpetually dark region of soaring mountains and deep craters. It is here that scientists hope to find the water ice locked in its perennial cold surface. It is predicted that there could be water locked in the form of subsurface ice here. Now, these are just theories. Nobody has gone there to dig it yet. So, ISRO will do the elemental analysis and try to find out if there is presence of more concentration of water near the south pole of the moon. Now, water is a very critical resource for any deep space mission, more so when the countries are racing to establish a permanent human presence on the moon over the next decade. Now, if you remember in 2008, Chandrayaan-1 had given evidence of water on the sunlit surface of the moon. But scientists are still trying to find out how much water and in what form it is actually trapped in the surface of the moon. Post a successful landing, which is likely to take place after August 23rd, the lander and the rover will begin a series of experiments to fathom what has intrigued scientists for years. The lunar atmosphere and its complex regolith, which traps critical elements like magnesium, aluminium, potassium, iron and silica. Now, with no air or wind, the moon has preserved its fascinating history for billions of years, which scientists are now keen to explore. Its thin and weak atmosphere, unlike that of Earth, consists of unusual gases which get ionized and change with day and night. The mission will try to gather more data on its unique composition near the relatively cooler South Pole, which countries like the US and the China have set their eyes on. The lander will also insert a probe about 10 centimeters into that uneven lunar soil, which is also called regolith, to investigate what it is actually made of. It will go deeper and pass an electric current to measure the surface thermal and electrical properties. It will also drop an instrument on the surface to unravel the earthquake tendencies on the moon through the vibrations it's going to produce. Both lander and the rover will be powered by sunlight. The 28 kg lander rover will come out of the lander, move across the surface studying the lunar soil and rocks around the landing site. It will use lasers to break down the chemical structure, melting it and creating emissions to study the unique composition of the moon. The findings could pave way for future ma uh, mining of lunar resources and key life-sustaining elements of astronauts and fuel for their spacecraft. A successful landing will certainly bring India into the elite cup of spacefaring nations and give impetus to India's deep space mission in future. With demonstrated skill and ability to land on the moon, India can plan its future missions with astronauts on board. Now, the ISRO chairman has already indicated ISRO's plans of collaborating with Japan for its next moon landing. While Japan will develop the lander, ISRO will work on the scientific objectives of the mission. But for India to claim its share in the upcoming big lunar economy, it will have to offer more in terms of its deep space capabilities as the world is raring to go to the moon again. Thank you so much for watching CNN News 18. Keep reading our stories on news18.com for more such updates.